Hi, this is Brad Willis. I'm the moderator of the Iron Force Fan Group. We're located on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Iron Force Fan Group. We've got, as of this moment, I think somewhere around 1,100-ish members. So if you have an interest in the game, feel free to join us. Got a lot of excellent players. You can pick up some tips and techniques while you're at it and commiserate over some of the game problems with Iron Force. Now, I read a post about a week or so back from one of our players that said that these uh, joystick slash game buttons that he had purchased turned your tank into a killing machine. And I thought, well, wow, that sounds pretty good. You know, I'd like my tank to be even more of a killing machine. So I bought them. I found them on Amazon and they were eh, $8 for a set of the things. They're, they're kind of, they're cheapy little things, but I thought, well, what the heck? You know, maybe they'll really kind of help me out. So I just got them today. So somebody, uh, I mentioned that I had received them. Somebody said, you know, maybe you should do a uh, unboxing and review on them. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So first of all, let's take a look at them. I've already actually opened the bag. But um, you can see here, maybe, these were from, um, I received these today from Zhao Jova Yang, Zhim Yai, Jing Zhang, Ji Ao, Zhang Wu, Zhang Head Da Lu Four, Feng Yong, Shen Zhen, Guan Shi, Guangdong, something like that. I guess that's the address. This must be the person's name, it's Zhao, Zhao Ye Zhang. They probably think our names sound funny. I don't know. We think their names sound funny. But anyway, it, I bought it on Amazon, and it wasn't from Amazon directly. It was from their um, one of their sellers, and, and it said it was going to take a long time to get here, but it actually it actually did not. Let's let's take a look at this thing. Now, I've already opened it. What do you get? Well, let's start off with a little ooh la la cleaning cloth. They gave me a little cleaning cloth from Sun Ode. I don't know what that means. Online wholesale. And uh, it's got a little barcode on the back. It probably costs them about a penny or something in slave labor to make. And then you can pull out the actual, um, let me get this here. Sorry about the camera strap. It's kind of hard to record and do all this at the same time. So, so here's the actual item itself. The strap is driving me crazy. And as you can see, is it upside down? Yeah, it is. Hang on. Okay, so this is the fly fish game button. And you can see it's for... Um, it's for iPhone or iPad. And so uh, what you do is you put this sucker as a joystick, and, and I literally mean sucker, because it's got a suction cup, and, uh, and according to one fella, turns your, turns your gamepad into a killing machine. I don't know, let's try it. So let's open this thing, and uh, you can see it's got a couple of the little gamepad buttons in here. Um, I'm going to, and the paper feels kind of kind of thin and chintzy, I guess you'd expect it to. Now, when you actually open this sucker, you get well, you get a couple of you get a couple of these little suction cup thingies. Okay, they're in a little a little plastic container. So let's actually just set that aside and let's go ahead and try it, and we'll play a game. Now, the strap, you know, I'm gonna put it around my wrist here. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera, but it keeps getting in the picture so the first thing I think we got to do I'm, I'm probably gonna get dusted this game because I'm spending so much time you know with this uh, with this review but you know trying to hold a camera with one hand I'm sure it's not gonna be pretty but let's just go ahead and go to uh, battle and you know I'm using this for iron force it certainly it could apply for other games and maybe it'll work better on other games I don't know but let's go battle and we will go to um, let's try to find uh, one of those uh, you know, one of those maps, there's not as many people on, like a big one like Factory. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to get started. Now, first thing i got to do is locate where these suckers go, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm waiting for the game to start. So let's go ahead. One is going to go here on fire. Yeah, we just kind of sucked in it there. Nobody's killed me yet, fortunately. And then the other, now I've already tried it, to be honest with you, so I know what's going to happen. The other one, I guess, would go right here. But um, the problem I've had with this thing is it doesn't it doesn't do anything. So the left one is not. First of all, it's not really staying that well. I've cleaned I've cleaned this, but it's really not staying in place. But you can see you're not really turning much. It doesn't have enough um, play. So so I guess the short of it is this left button. And I'll give you a little better look at this sucker. Oh, somebody's shooting at me. That's not very nice. Um, is useless. Let's take it and throw it away. So I'm going to use my thumb to go ahead and turn. We'll see who's firing at me. Who's shooting at me? And I'm, I'm looking through the camera, so I'm not doing much good. Let's just, let's just shoot at him. Oh, we got him in one shot. How about that? So, um, so the, so the, the right button you can see 
actually it does, you know, as you push it, it does actually, am I lined up on Avenger Bot here? Hang on a second, I'm sorry about that jerky movement. Let's just line up on him. Somebody's gonna kill me here in a second. But um, we'll go ahead now we got him too. I'm, I'm just gonna sit here the whole time, I guess. There's another fellow who pushed the button again. Uh, let's see, that looks like a pretty tough Avenger Bot. Oh, they got me. Anyway, this right button here, you can see it does actually do something, but it's, it's not fantastic. You know, does it really help you push faster? No, no. Let's, I'm going to go ahead and maneuver the tank a little bit. Let's go over and uh, try, to, try to shoot at this guy. I'm, again, I'm doing that to my camera, so it's not easy. Um, there he is. So let's just, in fact, I wasn't going to wind up. Let's try it again. Don't move, buddy. Jeez, please. I'm trying to kill him on camera. Part, this is really impossible to do with one hand. Eh, we'll just, uh, we'll just aim for the savage spot, maybe also for the Avenger bot. Look at the Scorp, there's a, there's a Scorp with 75s on it, um, which is ridiculous. Okay, so, did they kill me or I killed them? I guess I'm still in the lead, which is pretty ridiculous. Well, I guess my team's not. I don't know, should I play this thing out or not? I guess I only got another minute to go. So, um, no, let's just kind of meander over there. Now, again, I can't really use the left gamepad. So, you know, the right one, that was my bird saying hi. Savage Bot, you need to hold still. I'm sorry, that's just all there is to it. And again, I'm sorry about some of the camera work. I'm trying to maneuver the game and use this button at the same time. And I need cash. Let's do that. Now, where's, um, maybe I can shoot at. I don't know if I really feel like going all the way down there or not. Well, anyway, we'll just kind of mosey in. Oh, there's a, there's a Savage Bot. Let's see. Hopefully he'll hold still. And again, the button. I think I'll take this diamond. Um, the button does help me fire a little bit faster, so I guess that's good. There's that little Chinese guy. He may have been the guy that even made this thing. Who knows? Sorry about, again, the uh, motion, but it's hard to record and play and uh, and fire at the same time. But we're going to do it. We're going to do it anyway, even though... Uh, so, you know, it gives me an extra, I guess, a quarter of an inch, you know, I suppose, something like that. A little bit of extra, um, a little bit of extra, uh, uh, what's the word I want to say? It's more precise, I guess, than just using the finger. I'm still just pushing on it, not much is happening. Did we win or not? We actually won the most lame um, game ever. So that's that. So, let's go back to these things for a second. Um, so again, this is, this is what it looks like. Uh, do you need it? Um... No, nah, I don't think you do, to tell you the truth. Uh, does it make much difference? I don't think so. I mean, if I'm doing something wrong, somebody can tell me. Again, there's not much to it. You, know, you can take a look here. You can see it's just a little, um, trying to focus, just a suction cup on the bottom. That's about it. And uh, what's on my finger? Oh, I guess that's marking pen. Um, and it's, again, about a quarter inch high, plus or minus. It has a little bit of a clicking feel to it when you push down on it. Again, the firing helps a little bit. Steering uh, with this particular game doesn't do anything. Uh, my verdict? Save your money. You know, I don't think you need it. It's not. I, is it worth eight bucks to me? No. Is it better than uh, using just my fingers? Uh, maybe a little on the firing button. Not much, really. So, that's enough of that. Boy, we talked about this cheap little piece of plastic here for... Um, for almost nine minutes, I guess. Yeah. So, but anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm. Uh, that's the end of the review. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I don't recommend our little. Where are they? Our fly fish. Fly, and they probably have all kinds of different names for these things. Again, sorry about all the motion on the camera, but I'm you know, trying to do several things at once. This is, again, it's the fly fish game button. Kind of more of a, a fly fish lame button. Haha. -ha. I'm funny. Don't you think I'm clever? I think so. But you probably don't need it. And I probably didn't need it. It does help a bit, but um, you know it's not going to help you turn the tank, and it's only going to help you marginally in terms of your firing. Maybe not even then. So that is the review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you a little bit. If you're thinking about going on a seek and destroy mission like I did, trying to find these suckers because they're not that easy to find, I guess my advice would be don't. So thank you once again for your time. As always, if you have any questions or comments, you can put them in the remarks section here on YouTube. You know where to find our group, so if you have an interest, feel free to join at any time. And I will see you playing Iron Force.